Hello, this is Kate from dailytarotgirl.com and this is my video unboxing of the Emotion Energy Cards. This is a deck of Oracle cards created by Don Bedell. So these cards come in a really beautiful um, cloth pouch. And actually I should say before I get into this review that um, this deck is not available yet. So I believe it will be, and I'll put all the information below this video on where you can, can check this deck out and, and check out the artist's site. But as of this making of the video, it's not yet available. So hopefully that will change soon. <laughs> so this is what the backs of these cards look like. And what's really cool is that Dawn, the artist, is an energy painter. So I'm just gonna slowly go through these cards so you get a feel for them. So each card has um, you know, a word or a theme and a little message. So I'll read a couple of them out loud. So this one for truth says, the energy of truth is strong and honest when you live from the truth of your heart. Your actions and intentions are clear and direct. Truth gets to the heart of the matter. I just think they are so beautiful. I really love the, the style of the painting that Dawn does. And I did a reading with these cards a couple of weeks ago for my usual weekly YouTube reading, and they read quite beautifully. I was kind of surprised because sometimes with Oracle decks like this one, I find them better for, you know, like meditation, contemplating or journaling, not necessarily doing, um, you know, the type of readings I normally do. Um, but this deck actually, it worked really, really beautifully. And I, I love how each card really has a distinct feel to it. And when you kind of, if you sit with the image for a little while, each card has, has a distinct feel. And I'll do a little sample reading at the end, just so you can see kind of how this deck reads. I find this deck is a really nice accompaniment to a tarot reading. Like I will, um, I haven't done, I don't think I've done any videos yet for my channel on how to incorporate multiple decks in a reading. But I had a reading from a woman uh, a week or two ago and she used tons of decks in her reading and I thought it was really neat how she did it. And I'm gonna start doing that perhaps in some of my own readings. Um, anyways, this deck worked really nice as a deck um, to use kind of at the end of the reading. Um, yeah, I liked I liked using it for that. I love how colorful these cards are. This this deck feels very um, it feels soft yet powerful, and it feels kind of warm and fuzzy. Like when I read with it, there's like a warm fuzzy feeling, but without it being um, wishy washy, <laughs> if you know what I mean. It's like it's like a deck you use when you want to explore your life and explore whatever issues you're dealing with, um, but in a way that isn't necessarily intense, but yet still powerful, if that makes sense. So I think I'm almost at the end of the deck and then I'll shuffle the cards and we can do a reading and see see how this deck reads. I guess I didn't talk about cardstock. So cardstock is glossy. 
Uh, cardstock is a little, it's definitely on the thinner side, so these cards are kind of bendable and flexy. Um, but nice, nice quality cardstock, but it, it is quite thin, which I find is sometimes, sometimes I prefer the thinner cardstock just for ease of shuffling. Um, yeah, and definitely very glossy, very shiny. The energy of surrender is calm, peaceful, and expansive. Drop below drama and chaos to a space of calmness. Here you are separate and still. You are letting go and you feel free. All right, so I'm gonna shuffle the deck here. And I'm going to ask this deck, what card do we need to see today? What card do we need to focus on right now? Surrender. Oh, that's so weird because that's the card I just read. <laughs> Isn't that bizarre? <laughs> there must have been a reason why I was drawn to read this card. <laughs> So I'll read it again. The energy of surrender is calm, peaceful, and expansive. Drop below drama and chaos to a space of calmness. Here you are separate and still. You are letting go and you feel free. I think that's really nice advice on this card about, you know, drop below drama and chaos to a space of calmness. Because I think that when we try to make decisions, when we're in that, um, you know, uncalm, chaotic, dramatic place, we tend to not make the best decisions. And when you remove yourself from, from chaos, from drama, so that you can really go to your center and connect, that's when you can really, you know, take a deep breath, get some perspective. And I think that's when you, you tend to make the best decisions, when you can calm down a little bit. But this isn't just about calming down. It's about surrender. And surrendering is also about letting go and maybe letting go. I think a lot of us, um, certainly myself included, we need to let go of some of our preconceived ideas. We need to let go of any kind of, um, oh, what do I want to call it? Not ideology, but, um, uh, like ways of thinking that we get stuck in kind of letting go of that. Cause I think that we can't see things clearly if we're stuck in a particular mindset or a particular mode, just like when you're stuck in one emotion, like anger, or if you're stuck in sadness, you tend to see everything through that lens of that emotion and it distorts everything. And surrender is about kind of stepping out of that for a moment. So I think that's a really powerful card. I'm going to draw one more. See what other card we need to focus on right now. Faith. Okay. So I'm just going to zoom in on these cards. This one says, the energy of faith is strong and trustworthy. Allow yourself to step back and see the bigger picture. Where you are heading on your path is exactly where you need to be. All is well. This kind of reminds me a little bit of the star in the tarot. Whenever I get that card, I always feel like it's about um, uh, not so much faith, but it's like that feeling of like whatever's happening, wherever you are, it's unfolding in the way that it needs to unfold. And and sometimes there's a lot of um, relaxation <laughs> that can come from that when you say that to yourself, like whatever's happening, it's okay. <laughs> like whatever is unfolding, not that what's happening is necessarily okay, but like whatever is happening in your life, whatever you're going through, um, you know, it's, you know, you're, you're going in the right direction. It's not, uh, cause sometimes I think we want to control everything. Uh, or at least I'm talking about myself here. 
<laughs> you know, we want to be in control. And, um, and sometimes when you just say like, all is well right now, like, I don't need to change anything in this instant, this moment. And that can allow you to just like drop a lot of tension. So I think that's a beautiful message. And this reminds me of, um, like a farm, like rows. It's interesting because there's all these straight lines and it makes me think of like staying inside your lane or staying within the lines. But then there's this path that's like going, this path of light that's going in like a totally different direction. It still ends up kind of going in the same way, but it's like a circuitous path, which is really beautiful. All right, so that has been my unboxing video of the Emotion Energy cards. If you want to find out more about the artist, Don Bidal, um, or more about you know these cards, I'm going to put all the links in the description box below this video. So thank you so much for watching, and you can find more reviews, more unboxing videos on my website dailytarotgirl.com or on my YouTube channel.